Hey guys, Steve here with The Wired Flyer, where we break down aviation concepts in the simplest way possible. And today we're going to be talking about some high lift devices specifically located on the leading edge of wings. And the three we'll be going over today are slats, slots, and leading edge flaps. Now these all have a similar goal of achieving more lift at slow speeds, but they achieve it in very different ways. So let's get right on into it. And first off, we have slats, and these are auxiliary airfoils attached to the leading edge of the wing, and they extend forward and downward a little bit in order to maintain a smooth boundary layer over the wing to generate more lift at slower speeds and high angles of attack. And this also results in a delayed stall. And there's two different types of slats mainly found, which are powered slats and automatic slats. Now, automatic slats automatically pull out as the angle of attack is increased because as your angle of attack is increased, then the lower pressure that is now there on top of the wing actually pulls that slat forward. And then when you lower that angle of attack, that higher pressure pushes that slat back in, allowing you to fly more fuel efficiently as there's less drag as when the slat is pulled out. Now we also have powered slats and they usually work in conjunction with the regular flaps on the back trailing edge of the wing and as the pilot lowers the flaps the powered slats automatically extend as well now some slat designs even have slots within them which leads us to our next topic what are slots slots are passageways or openings within the leading edge of the wing ran span wise so these slots allow air to flow from the bottom of the wing through to the upper surface of the wing and the purpose of that is to maintain a smooth boundary layer because as the angle of attack increases the boundary layer tends to slow down and as it slows down it will separate from the wing and you will lose lift and potentially stall so to maintain that smooth airflow over the wing these slots allow air to kind of be re-energized as they flow from the bottom of the wing to the top and maintain that good smooth airflow so this really improves your ability to handle the airplane at slow speeds and reduces your risk of stall which is perfect for takeoffs and landings and now we have one more high lift device to discuss in this video and that is going to be leading edge flaps. Leading edge flaps are hinged panels attached to the leading edge of the wing and they pivot downwards in order to change the curvature of the wing. And the more curvature or higher camber of a wing, then the more lift you are able to produce at slow speeds. And there's a couple different types of leading edge flaps and one of them is the Kruger flap which extends from the underside in order to change the curvature of the wing and increase lift. And then there is also the droop nose flap, which simply pivots at the leading edge of the airfoil. So both leading edge flaps and slats allow for more lift at slower speeds, but they do it in very different ways. So there you guys have it. That's a quick little intro to high lift devices specifically located on the leading edge of the airfoil. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was Steve with The Wired Flyer. Please give this video a like if you learned something and subscribe to the channel for more aviation content. Don't forget to keep learning, stay motivated, and chase your dream.